anniversary will be, what, 37 years or something like that. And we stuck together, you know, through thick and thin. That's how it is when you, when you love someone. You're going to bear with them. I like Brother Brian's testimony. We had eye contact in that dolphin's head, he said. God, we made us to be today. Amen. Thank Jesus for all that He's done for us. You know what? Without you and I to encourage one another, we would not make it. We would walk away, we would strain. But you and I encourage one another. May you encourage me to stand Serve the Lord with all your heart, you know. You bless the Lord. And that encourages me, you know. I might not be doing any, you know, cartwheels or dancing, or, but, you know, I rejoice in my heart. I thank the Lord for the family of God. Those of you that came, even praise God, that just gave your lives to the Lord, and it's wonderful. Praise the Lord. You know, you know what we need to bring? We need to bring revelation. Revelation is going to keep us, it's going to stir something inside of us. We don't want to hear the same old, you know, black tired, they used to say. We want revelation, we want something from the Word of God that will give life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to 
one day I was driving and I thought about a verse that says, Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. Thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain. I think that's in Exodus 20, where the, new, uh, the, the, uh, the commandments. You know, we hear it's not going in our walk. And, uh, and some people, you know, will come, they'll come in, uh, especially the ones that are starting out, uh, you know, that the enemy will use someone to try and intimidate you, to try and rob your blessing. The good thing is, say, that's why we got to, you know, kind of uh, look after one another as uh, God's people. And my, and my, my job is to, uh, if I see something wrong, I'll, I'll reveal it. If I see something going on, and I, you know, I try to uh, help that person or people. But uh, thank the Lord for that. And, uh, because without that, you know, we were instructed in many ways. We were growing in, you know, and as uh, we were young at one time, I guess they said, when they, we were young people. And, um, and uh, somebody had to tell us right, you know, from wrong, because we didn't know. I didn't even know where the scripture was, you know, when we first started. Pastor Demery would be quoting scriptures at 100 miles an hour, and, uh, by the time I tried to get there, and he was gone again to the next one. You know how Demery was preaching, man. Uh, I used to get frustrated, you know, but as I, you know, I listened and I grew and I, I studied the Word, you know, where all those books, where all those books are, and I tried to understand them. And, uh, but here, uh, I want to share something in uh, Hebrews chapter 7. If you're there, say amen. amen. Verse number one, Hebrews 7, verse number one. It says, For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who had met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed blessed him. Melchizedek was a, a some kind of a mysterious man in the Old Testament. You read about him in Genesis. Look, let's go to Genesis there. Genesis 14. Let's read about this Melchizedek that's talked about because it has a lot to do with uh, Jesus, our King. Genesis 14. We're trying to summarize this in 20, 20 minutes. Genesis 14 and 18, verse 18, and Melchizedek, it says, King of Salem bought for bread and wine. What did Jesus bring? Jesus said, I am the true bread that came down from heaven. What did Jesus bring? He brought the Holy Ghost. That's the new wine. He was already ministered here. Look at what it says. And he was a priest of the Most High God. Jesus was a priest of the Most High God, it says. You know what a priest does? He sacrifices something. He sacrifices himself, his, uh, his life, you know. And here, we go back to Gen uh, we go back to Hebrews 7. Jesus turned that water into wine. If any man thirsty, he said, let him come out to me and drink. He'll never thirst again. Praise the Lord. You never want to go back into that world again, that dark world, you know. Because you have tasted, you have tasted that the Lord is good.
Praise the Lord. Look at what it says here. To whom also Abraham gave a tent to all apart, first being seven and two uh, Hebrews. King of righteousness. And after that also the king of Salem, which is the king of peace. He's talking about Jesus here. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but, but made unto the, like unto uh, the Son of God abided the priest continually. You, when you look at this, when you think about it, you know, the great high priest that was passed into the heavens, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, it says, May I give him unto us a sacrifice, even that God, if it was, it was sufficient, it was, it was made, given for praise God for us, look at what it says. For without father or mother, you know Jesus, he was the beginning. You know when something is the beginning, there's no, there was no, there was no start anywhere. Because God was there already. Now Jesus was talking about himself here. There was no beginning, there was no father, there was no mother. But Jesus came. Amen. Praise God when he when they prophesied about this, he was talking about the, even the one entity, brother. He was talking about, about himself as a as a God of the Old Testament over there. What does it say in Isaiah? He said, There is no God beside me, neither shall there be after me. I don't know where people get another God from. Ministers today, they need to study the Word of God. They need to dig into the Word. I mean, they need the, I mean, the Holy Ghost, the Holy One, to reveal truth to them. You know what's going on today? Truth is not revealed. The Spirit of God is not open understanding yet. You know what? God does not open our understanding. I mean, we're going to be walking like blind people. If we don't see something, amen, we're going we're gonna to hit it blind, amen. We're not going to reveal truth, amen. Some people will preach Jesus only. Well, that's a good thing. That's a doctrine. That's a teaching. Jesus only. Jesus name only. But Jesus came in the form of a man as a son. That has to be brought out also. That part of the scripture has to be brought out as, as our people, as God's people. You know, Brother Norman used to preach this. You know what they said about him? Brother Norman's a false, a false prophet. You know why they said that? Because they didn't understand the word. If we don't understand the word, you're going to point at somebody and you're going to say you're false. Because we simply don't understand the scripture. And you and I need to dig into the Word. You know, we, you know, it's good to be baptized in Jesus' name. That's the foundation. That's where we praise God. That's where the Lord brought us to. It's to build upon that rock, build upon that name of Jesus. But it only starts there. That's only the beginning of your life. You don't preach the name of Jesus all the way in your whole life. You got to change from glory to glory. Come on, somebody. You got to change him, and there's times, amen, that look and look and look. Let's read this verse 4. Now consider how great this man was. They're talking about Jesus. Unto whom even the patriarch Abraham gave a tenth of the spoils, and very they are made. Of the sons of Levi and received an office of the priesthood, having commanded to take tithe, tithes of the people according to the law. That is of their brethren that they come out of the loins of Abraham. <clears throat> you know, when you think about 
about this when you bring tithes. I thank the Lord for tithes and offerings. You know, you and I as God's people, we need to come out of somewhere. A church, you know, I, I read that Brother Darren's, uh, he said, find a Holy Ghost teacher, a pastor that will teach you. You know, I thank the Lord for Pastor Henry said, Brother Henry, Henry took us over there. We, went, we started out in a little black church. There not that, that thing against black people or black churches or nothing. But that's where we started. And I used to kneel down in that little church where there would be a mouse just flying right here. There's a little mice in that church. <laughs> And Henry, Pastor Henry, introduced me. I guess my wife went there. We went trying to go there one time. On Isabel, they had a church on Isabel. There was a stairway there. That place was packed out. We couldn't get in. So we turned around from the door. And there's a Roman Catholic that used to drink with him. He was kneeling right there by the door. I wonder why I couldn't even do that. But you know what? God has a plan for us. Look at what it says here. Verse number 12. Hebrews 7. For the priesthood, look at, for the priesthood being changed, there is made a necessity, a change also of the law. The law means the teachings. For he of whom these things are spoken pertaining to another tribe of which no man gave attendance at the altar. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, in which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. You see, when Moses preached this, Moses talked about this, but he never mentioned anything about the priesthood concerning Judah. But the scripture says in John, it says that the tribe, the tribe of the lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. He was talking about Jesus in uh, Revelation chapter 5 there. Look at what it says. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, and with the tribe of Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. And yet it is far more evident that after the similitude of Melchizedek, there arises another priest. Remember when, uh, remember when uh, Jeremiah came to the house of God? He said, go into the house of God, and I will, and I will show you things. And I'll, 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 I'll put you in a wheel, in the middle of the wheel, you know. God, amen, will place us somewhere. It'll teach us, you know, but he had to teach, retrain again. Because, amen, the first, amen, the first, amen, the first man, Adam, amen, he fell away from the Garden of Eden, you know. He fell away from there. Look at what it says in 16. Who is made not after the laws of the carnal commandments? But after the power of the endless life, Jesus was not made to teach him. And you know what? Jesus, when he when he when he spoke the word, every time that he spoke the word, he you know he prophesied something from the Old Testament. He knew about the Old Testament. That's why he said to Abraham before. He told the Jews he said, before Abraham was, I am. He always went back. Remember when Jesus, when he started his ministry, he was 30 years old. Why? Because he followed those customs. The priest had to be 20 years old or 30 years old. It meant to work in the office. Look at it and study those things back there. And everything that Jesus did, it, he 
fulfilled that. Look at what it says here. For he testified, 17, for he testified, thou art a priest forever. You know, Jesus is making intercessions for us. Jesus is our King, and He's our God, He's our